I would like to acknowledge uh, several people for my brief remarks. Uh, of course, David G. and the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and his team uh, for spearheading uh, this uh, enormous investigation. Also, uh, I'd like to, to thank Chief uh, DeCobo and uh, Major Albert Frost and Donna Lewinsky, whose division and personnel participated in this ongoing uh, investigation. And it's our hope that the National Insurance Crime Bureau that we can continue our relationship with the sheriff's office uh, on an ongoing basis to get after this type of crime that's now occurring in Hillsborough County. Also, State Attorney's Office Wayne Shalou and Mark Ober for their assistance and guidance in this investigation. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, Chief Financial Officer Alex Sink of the State of Florida and the Division of Insurance Fraud for their assistance and the Director for the State Division of Insurance Fraud, uh, John Askins, is here with us today. Thank you, John, for being here. All of this, the teamwork plays an important role. I'd really like to bring out, though, before I say anything else, to acknowledge the investigative skills of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Detectives Ronnie Cooper, Jose Morales, and NICB Special Agent Robert DeLuna for their tenacious investigative abilities. Robert DeLuna is also, like myself, a homegrown Hillsborough County Sheriff's Deputy, retiring at the same time that I did. One thing that we do know at the, at the National Insurance Crime Bureau, by the way, which is the preeminent organization in the world, nonprofit, dedicated slowly, uh, totally to insurance fraud and auto theft. Uh, we were founded in 1912 as the National Auto Theft Bureau, and in 1990 we took that on and, as well as insurance fraud. Staged accidents are the fuel for the fires of medical provider fraud. Nationally, insurance fraud cost all Americans between 30 and 50 billion dollars, 30 and 50 billion dollars each year. According to NICB research, that's 200 to 300 dollars in higher insurance premium for the average household. Secondly, insurance fraud, and it's all in its various insidious forms, is the second most costly economic crime in the United States, second only to income tax evasion. It's important to note that insurance fraud can affect everyone in a variety of ways. Let me quote something that I, I came across in doing research just recently. PIP fraud, which is what we're talking about here, clinics, fueled by the easy flow of insurance money, enabled by greedy and disreputable lawyers, chiropractors, doctors, PIP fraud is taking a large bite out of every Floridian's insurance budget. The huge profits from this fraud allow runners to make a killing as much as $20,000 a week to simply call names on a police report and have them come in and see a chiropractor or a doctor. Inflated charges, worthless diagnostic tests line the pockets of unprincipled doctors and medical providers. As a result, all manner of shady characters are drawn to the sleazy trade of patient referrals, marginal medicine, worthless diagnostic testing. Most of the time, accident victims are left with no coverage and little to show for the time they spent at a medical facility. Recent research by the, and, and let me end that with the quotes, that is from the statewide grand jury, 1999-2000, and its closing and conclusion in the study of PIP fraud, which I happen to be the law enforcement liaison to the grand jury. Ten years has passed since that report was issued. It's online at the Attorney General's office. It doesn't appear to us in the business that much has changed, other than it's got more aggravated and it's been displaced out of Miami, now into Central Florida. According to NICB recent research, and we do these forecast reports frequently, Florida ranks number one in the country as far as the category of questionable claims where they say PIP fraud or alleged fraud is involved in PIP. Florida, it was number one in the country in 2007, 2008, and again in 2009. Also in that same study regarding PIP fraud as a category, and there's 40 types of categories of fraud as you can well imagine, Tampa ranks number two, only behind Brooklyn, New York. The cities that I've mentioned in Orlando is like number three. If you combine Tampa and Orlando, we far outpace anybody else in the country as far as this staged accident crime of insurance fraud. 
Tampa ranks number two, number two nationally. Last year, in 2009, the National Insurance Crime Bureau received 85,000 over questionable claims from all across the insurance industry to us to be analyzed, to be further investigated and assigned out to, uh, to be investigated with local law enforcement and the insurance industry. And by the way, let me stop myself. Let me thank the insurance industry, SIUs, who are here present today, 20 or 30 of them, whose companies have lost millions of dollars and they are the first line of the investigative off, uh, of defense in helping us uh, with these protracted investigations. Thank you guys and girls for being here. Nationally, there was a 14% increase in 2008 on uh, questionable claims. The NICB has attributed that to the downturn in the economy and also staged accidents. Florida increased by 13%. There were 7,341 questionable claims sent to the NICB in 2009, which is an increase of 13%. A recent report just out, 2008 versus 2009, mapping by county of the entire country by the NICB showed that <clears throat> Hillsborough County for staged accident category reported to the NIC by insurance companies had a whopping increase of 254 percent over uh, 2008. That's a 254 percent increase in the category sent to the NICB from insurance companies of suspected staged accident fraud. It's no wonder that the uh, Fraud Bureau and NICB and local law enforcement are overwhelmed with this type of crime. Medical-related fraud in Hillsborough County increased by 145% in 2009. Overall, Hillsborough County insurance fraud cases increased by over 100%. So those are just two categories, staged accidents and medical-related crime. They all stem from and lead to the clinics that provide this sleazy service and charge insurance companies for millions of dollars for crimes, <clears throat> for injuries that did not occur, have not occurred, and, and will not occur. Those type of crimes and those numbers were once thought of as a South Florida crime. With the numbers that the insurance companies, have, I mean, that the NICB have come up with, the astute investigative abilities of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies in, in the district where I used to work, running across this on themselves and seeing cars that were staged and, and like a movie production and no one was hurt. Um, it's tremendous. On, on my hat is off to David G. and, and the chief and, and everybody else in Hillsborough County for recognizing this problem and taking a proactive stance. Um, there are 11 states in the country that have no fault insurance, um, much like Florida. Florida has PIP. We have a $10,000 limit on PIP. New York right now has a, New York State is a no-fault state. It has a $50,000 PIP, and they are struggling. They had to sum it up there yesterday with the National Insurance Crime Bureau to try to figure out what to do up there. The states are, are, are uh, struggling around the country on how to deal with this new crime and other related crimes. I was telling the chief earlier that in South Florida, where we set up a, a joint task force, and, and uh, NICB is going to do that here, hopefully with the sheriff, state attorney and the state fraud bureau and federal agencies that want to be involved. We've had an impact in South Florida, but we've seen the migration of, in South Florida of Eastern European um, individuals with ties to New York opening up these, these, uh, these fraudulent clinics in, uh, in South Florida. We've made some good strides, we've had some good impacts, but it looks like the crime has migrated to, uh, to Hillsborough County in Orlando area. And for that reason, very, very proud of the hard work and effort that the Hillsborough County Sheriff has done. Because as Joe said, excuse me, the chief, <laughs> chief said that it, it impacts all of us in insurance rates and the, the associated crimes, money laundering, income tax evasion, Believe me, this is not organized crime in the traditional sense, but it is organized crime, and it has all the other uh, ancillary crimes associated with it. Uh, together, um, we look forward to, to having an impact, and th today we'll send a strong message to this criminal activity in Hillsborough County. Thank you. Thank you, Joe.